Four chefs, three courses, only one chance to win. The challenge, make an unforgettable meal with these mystery items hidden in the basket before time runs out. In round one, we said goodbye to chef Rocco Pauli Latoni. And after a confusing round two, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do with these darn little trees. The judges said bye y'all to full-time Nana and owner and operator of Butter, Grits, and Double D Tits private catering company, Chef Tracy May LaFray. Ow, fatal sticks. In the entree round, self-described alternative bad boy Atticus Rogue impressed the judges with his confidence and absolute refusal to play by the rules. Chefs, I have prepared for you a Swan Lake-inspired poultry sashimi. Enjoy. I can't eat this. And our youngest ever chef to compete, child prodigy Preston Wallace Roberts, wowed the judges. Hello, my name is Preston Wallace Roberts. I am eight years old and I am highly pleased to be making my first televised cooking appearance. I published my first cookbook at the age of 37 months. Very proud of that. Preston and Atticus. For the final round, you were asked to make a fantastic dessert using only popcorn kernels, crickets, raw ginger, and shark's teeth. For my dish, I have created a gelatin-based cricket-encrusted souffle with a shark tooth compote and a ginger vapor essential oil. Mm. That bite was quite sweet on the palate, but I did notice that you're missing an ingredient. Where is the popcorn? I just wasn't able to get it done. I see. Atticus, I see you decided to make us an ice cream and uh, decided to plate it on the rocking chair. Interesting choice. Can you tell us why you plated it that way? Look, I grew up in a really rough part of town. The only places that I ever fit in were at the dojo and in the kitchen. I wasn't gonna get into this on the show, but I was raised by a pack of panhandling raccoons, and plating my food on found objects is one of the only ways that I still can feel connected to the memory of my raccoon dad. Thank you, chefs. The judges will now need a moment to deliberate. We have Atticus, who's really been pushing the boundaries this entire competition, and has presented us with three completely inedible dishes. This guy really doesn't like to play by the rules. I respect that. I loved the shark tooth garnish. However, it did rip my mouth to shreds. Atticus Rogue, don't play by the rules, okay, son? You might get a high kick. I don't know what's gonna happen. There's no rules in raccoon street fighting, okay? I mean, we have Preston, who's clearly talented, has loads of potential, and has delivered amazing dishes every round, but he did forget the popcorn. I don't know how to get past that. I think we've made our decision. The judges have made their decision.